Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can boost your damage by a lot through towels and reforges, what weapons, what everything you should use to triple or quadruple your damage. If you do enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. At 500 subs, I'll do a 20 mil plus giveaway. So make sure you don't miss out on that. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So. Damage relies on five main things that you want to include. That includes your weapon, between a good weapon and a not so good weapon, armor, which boosts damage by a lot, your pet, and your talismans. The other thing that only you can get through grinding is combat EXP, as each level boosts your damage by 4%. So you'll do 200% more damage, like 4 times the damage, if you're level 5, or like combat 50, instead of combat 1 or 0. Now the best items for all of these things include this. The best item, or the best pet for damage, goes in the order of Ender Dragon, coming in first place. Then the Griffin Pet Legendary, coming in second place. And then, tiger pets, wither skeleton pets, all those other pets coming in like third and fourth place. However, the main two I'm going to be focusing on for pets are dragon and griffin. Now the ender dragon pet is, well, sadly is very expensive. And it makes sense why. As it boosts all your stats by 10%, which is huge and increases crit damage, strength, and everything by a lot. So this pet is the best for damage, however, it costs quite a lot of money. So I would not suggest getting this unless you're very, very endgame. Next pet is Griffin Pet, and specifically the Legendary, all versions are good, but specifically the Legendary Pet, as it gives you plus 15% strength. In addition to 50 crit damage, 25 strength, crit chance, magic find, intelligence, and everything like that. It gives you a lot. And it costs a lot less. Like a third or a fifth of the cost. Which is really nice. Now the items you want to put on the pets are also huge. However, they're also dependent on what pet you have. One of the best things that I find to put on any pet, it's pretty cheap actually, is the Spooky Cupcake. It increases strength by 30, which is a lot. The only thing that increases strength by more is Antique Remedies. If the specific pet has 50 strength at level 100, it grants 10 more strength. However, it costs more and you need to have the right pet for it. However, for a Griffin pet, Spooky Cupcakes are the best. And they don't cost that much. It costs a lot less when there is a spooky fest actually going on. One of the most key things is talisman reforges. Even it was a while ago in the reforge update that they nerfed talismans. Talismans are so crucial in order to damage. Without any talismans, I'd be doing 150k damage instead of 300k damage. And here's why. With every single talisman you have... If, let's just say they're all blue, it increases your strength by 4 and your crit damage by 5. And if you optimize them right, I don't have it optimized right because I'm really lazy and just put them all enchanted because I had them all in Bazaar. But if you get the right talismans, they, they're so huge. Like, getting some of these talismans are so cheap and make such a difference for no matter what game you're in. Having talismans is the biggest thing that you need to focus on. Without it, it's so hard to do a lot of damage. The best reforge for talismans is shaded on pretty much everything, except for I believe epics and legendaries you want on strong, because, but I'm just too lazy to do that, so I just left them all on shaded. And also, I've seen people who didn't actually know this. There's an option in Advanced Reforging 
to have your accessory bag in here and then put like silk touch or something a dark orb in here and combine it instead of combining them all individually because i've seen people that didn't know they could do that so that is something also huge if you're adding talisman reforges now the shady reforge comes from the item called the dark orb it is a drop from floor five and it costs 500k to 600k to put to buy and then it costs however much talisman you have it'll cost more to put on next key thing is weapons without a weapon without a good proper weapon you're not going to be doing a whole lot of damage and these are the weapons i suggest you use i'll go more in depth i've got another video that i'll be uploading very short after this about what the best weapons and gear for early game mid game end game and late game and price for that. However, a good weapon that you can get if you can't afford oh great lag. Something like a flower of truth or a liver dagger is the zombie knight sword. It costs like three hundred to four hundred K and it's actually decent. It does a hundred and sixty four K. And so it costs me three hundred K. This does me a hundred and thirty K, sixty K. A flower of truth does three hundred K and costs me thirty mil. So, for a hundred times the price, or a hundred times less the price, this is a very, very good weapon to have for, unless, until you can buy a liver dagger or flower of truth, the zombie knight sword is one of the best weapons in the game. And the last thing is combat skill. Combat skill is huge, as you need it in order to do a lot more damage, however, you just have to grind this out. There's no other way to get past doing combat levels. If you don't do it, then you just don't do it. But you're going to be doing a lot less damage. If you did enjoy this video, please consider to leave a like out down below and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.